everyone, and welcome to the last class of the Playbook series. Um, I'm Jenna, and we have Sarah here with us. And we're really excited to kind of wrap up the Playbook series. It's been a great series. The presenters have been showing some really great stuff um, on, you know, just a variety of different things that you guys can be offering at your custom apparel uh, decoration business. And we're here to kind of cap it off with something outside of heat printing apparel and accessories. And that is um, decorating promotional uh, goods, right? So promotional products are an extremely um, big market. They make up a big market segment of the apparel or the custom deco industry. Um, and drinkware is one of those top promotional products that get a ton of impressions throughout their lifespan. Um, and we really want to show you how easy it is with some of the products that you can source from stalls, um, how easy it is to be able to custom decorate these for your customers. So uh, we're going to start with the basics and uh, review heat transfer, or not heat transfer vinyl, just sign vinyl, <laughs> um, and different solutions that you have with that. And then we're going to go next level and show you some uh, really unique ways that you can use some of the dimensional products that you guys have seen throughout the event today um, and how you can utilize to utilize that to brand uh, your drinkware and offer something uh, that's a little unexpected, um, but definitely premium and something that really catches the eye um, and really just helps with that branding. So um, Sarah is, in my opinion, an expert when it comes to this stuff. Um, and so I'm so glad that she's on here with me today. Um, but we're going to go ahead and dive in to the presentation. So uh, bear with me while I share my screen with you for a moment. All right, we have Kelly on with us in the back end as well. Um, so I just want to check with you, Kelly, real quick. Um, can you see my screen? Okay. I can see it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, um, as I mentioned, we're going to be discussing drinkware and why is drinkware something that, um, you should consider as a decorator, um, to be able to, uh, customize for your, uh, the different markets that you are serving. So um, when it comes to reaching consumers, uh, you know, promotional product, products, um, there's, there's so many things that you have at your disposal. Uh, but when it comes to reaching a brand's audience, um, some things are just more effective than others. And if you guys have attended ASI or you are a member of ASI, um, you know that they do a lot of research in what promotional products um, are, you know, the, the most effective. Um, and drinkware is one of those. Um, and obviously, each brand is unique um, and demographics differ. But drinkware, for the most part, can, um, you know, cross a, across like many markets and be effective depend no matter what market or demographic. Um, and it's specifically reusable drinkware, right? So we see tumblers, water bottles, um, mugs, things like that, things that are being reused, they're going through the dishwasher, et cetera. Um, so there are so many resources out there, but what I wanted to do is really take a deep dive into the graphic that you see here over on the right hand side of the screen, uh, because I think that this is just really um, an effective um, tool here, right? So 78% of consumers own promotional drinkware, right? So um, that's an overwhelming majority in my opinion. I think that that number speaks volumes um, and it shows that most people um, are receptive to receiving and using promotional drinkware. Um, and, you know, promotional products are only as effective as your customers use the gear. Um, so the fact that um, so many people 
are using uh, promotional drinkware is a strong indicator that there is a need and a demand for promotional drinkware. Now, when I say promotional drinkware, what I mean is just a branded logo or a design put on drinkware that's being carried uh, to the gym throughout the day, what have you. Um, that's what I mean when we're talking promotional drinkware, right? Another um, really great percentage is the baby boomers, right? So they make up a significant amount of consumers, obviously. And um, if your brand appeals to them, this stat here shows that you should probably consider creating customized reusable drinkware. So just another really good statistic. And you can see as um, we go through this that there's 70% uh, 71% of Gen Xers, um, they're most likely to do business with those that are giving promotional drinkware um, and that promotional drinkware is kept on an average of 12 months. So really uh, great stats here. And I think that, you know, that really speaks to um, why this is such an essential piece um, of something that you should consider offering your customers. All right, and I'm gonna hand it off to Sarah for the next slide. Sarah, you're muted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so as Jenna mentioned, promotional wear and um, items and drinkware are super popular. Everyone loves a cup. I can't remember the last time I didn't go into a store and didn't grab another mug or another cup that I needed because you just can never have enough. And I think we can all agree that that's something we all keep if we go to an event or something and they're handing out stuff. We're always grabbing that drinkware item because we know it's gonna last and we know we're gonna use it. So a couple of the popular styles, like Jenna mentioned, there's your tumblers, such as your coffee mug, um, your coffee mug, your regular one, that's just your ceramic that you drink your morning coffee from, or the stainless steel ones. Um, along with the water bottles and can coolers. So these are su super popular now because they're making them for pretty much every bottle and type of can. And um, for um, the men and some women, the flask, if you want to decorate flasks, those are easy to do too and make for a great item to sell or give out as gift or promotional product. Right. And I'll even say, um, I know it's, it's probably, um, seasonal, but the can coolers I've been at the beach, I've been on the boat and literally I'm seeing those heavy duty can coolers that are keeping they're insulated, like a tumbler would be. Um, and they are, um, you know, branded and that's the first thing I notice, right? Like we're keeping the can covered, um, but they're just, I'm seeing everyone use it. I have so many different styles. I'm almost embarrassed by it, but I love <laughs> it. Everyone knows me as like the koozie girl. All my friends, they come to me for them. That's amazing. <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> All right. So uh, a lot of uh, different ways to customize, right? Um, and it's, it's outside of what we're going to show you today. There's laser engraving. There's epoxy. There's so many different ways. There's sublimation, probably the top one. Um, there's a lot of different ways for you to be able to add, um, prints to your, uh, drinkware. But today we're going to show you some of the easiest ways, uh, that you can add custom, um, branded logos, custom designs, personalization to drinkware, um, that's basic and next level. So the first one is going to be decal vinyl, as you can see listed there, some digital print vinyl. And then we're going to kick it up a notch with Sarah, who's going to be showing us some of those 3D emblems. And I think that that's going to be the best part of the presentation. <laughs> this decal right. vinyl is cool too. It, it, it is. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. So um, that's one thing um, that I've always thought about is you know, I love how easy a sign vinyl is to work with, all of the different things that you can do with it, um, as far as layering, getting different finishes with sign vinyl. Um, but there was always kind of that disclaimer with it that was like, okay, make sure you just hand wash this. But I will say, um, you know, even there's some drinkware out there, standalone, no print added to it at all, that is still hand wash only. 
Um, and so consider that if you guys are looking for a quick and simple way to be able to personalize or customize drinkware, because this is extremely simple. So I'm going to be working with the Maker Tumblr. The brand um, is Mars, M-A-A-R-S. Um, and we can share the item number with you guys. But this is sourced through saveacup.com. Um, and they do case pricing. So you do have to order these at a minimum, I think, of 12. Yeah. Um, of them are six. Correct me if I'm wrong, Kelly, because I know that you've been uh, helping us out with these. Yeah. Um, but I absolutely love this style. Um, I think it's nice and slim and I think it's a really trendy one that we're seeing a lot on the shelves at a variety of stores. Um, so what you want to consider when you're thinking about the drink wire that you want to personalize or custom, um, print or brand with side vinyl is the surface. All right. So I am working with a nice smooth surface here. Um, you definitely don't want to work with anything that is textured or porous because then that adhesive is going to start to pick up because it's going to get some air under it and not really have a flush overall finish um, to the blank. All right. So as I'm placing this super simple, I'm going to do a vertical print here. Right. Making sure that I am on the right side. And I'm just going right up and down on the mug, okay? So now at this point, all I'm doing, and I can use a squeegee with this if I want to, um, but I just use my thumb and I apply a lot of pressure. I start from the center out and then I work my way to the edges, all right? So really easy way to be able to add personalization to drinkware. Um, a lot of markets that this is applicable to I see this stuff on Etsy all the time, and I'm sure you have too, Sarah. Um, and they are marketing it to anyone and everyone. Um, I actually just went to a bachelorette event over the weekend, and uh, someone had customized drinkware for it. everybody that was there, right? So a lot of a great opportunity with just a simple vinyl personalization on drinkware. Now, I will say uh, for those of you that really want to get into drinkware and this one, you want this to be the bulk of your business, um, then you want to start considering a process called epoxy if you want to use sign vinyl. People love using sign vinyl because of the finish. As you can see, this is a metallic like rose gold finish. Um, and it pops off when you look at it, you want it because it's pretty. Um, but if you want the longevity of this to last longer and you want people to be able to throw it in their dishwasher, because let's face it, not everybody follows instructions. Um, then you can do a process called epoxy that will, um, coat this. It's a clear coat. Um, and then it will stay on there a lot longer. You won't have to worry about customers only doing um, hand wash only. Anything to add to that, Sarah? Um, I, th I don't know if you're gonna get into um, the production of it later, but um, it's important to know that the signed vinyl, you can purchase it in rolls and you will have to get a mask to that clear uh, covering over it to stick, um, to transport the design off of the backing. So it is almost like a two-step process. Yes, absolutely. So thank you for pointing that out. Would have totally skipped over it. So um, like Sarah mentioned, it comes on a roll. You can cut this out on a vinyl cutter. Um, I will say that most people who start out with a Cricut that aren't doing like fabric designs or aren't heat printing yet, drinkware is what they start out with because signed vinyl is so like available everywhere. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any local craft store. Um, so you can get our signed vinyl on rolls and cut it out on a vinyl cutter. Um, and then as Sarah mentioned, use this masking to pick it up off of the backing and then transfer it. What we're doing is getting that adhesive to be exposed. That's why the masking process is required uh, for transferring the design onto the hard good that you're customizing. Um, and that's where that masking comes into play. 
All right, so that is the um, probably out of the gate, the simplest way to start decorating um, drinkware, right? Just basic sign vinyl, right? Then if you want to um, start working with customer logos and branding for customers using their designs and they have full color designs, then there is a solution um, known as our, a printable um, decal. Right. And it, it looks honestly like a sticker, um, but it's not a sticker. <laughs> uh, it's definitely more durable, definitely more premium. But through the camera, you're going to look at this and think, think it's a sticker. But these are things that you can print on a solvent or eco solvent printer um, and create yourself in house if you want to create your own transfers. If you do not have a printer that is compatible um, with printing this type of um, vinyl, then you can just order it as a transfer as I did because I don't have a printer in house. So I can just order this right through the artwork uploader, upload my design. And then I'm just applying this just like I did the sign vinyl. It's gonna work very similarly. And then I'm just going to remove that transfer tape that comes on it. All right, and now my branded mug is complete. All right, so just another next level sign vinyl or decal vinyl option that you have available to you to be able to get full color images onto drinkware very quickly and simply and at a really good price point. All right. And for those full color transfers or um, decals, you can offer them for card decals as well, because the material that they're printed on is water resistant and permanent. Great. So do you know if that is dishwasher safe then? Yes. Top shelf. Always. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Love that. Did not know that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you're here. You're the expert. <laughs> All right. Call, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So just to recap, if you guys want to be able to add personalization um, and custom prints to your drinkware quickly, easily, sign vinyl, definitely the way to go. And then if you are getting into more branding opportunities for your customers, then you have your um, full color transfer um, sign vinyl option. All right, so I'm gonna hand it off to Sarah so she can show us some of those next level designs with our 3D emblems. Yeah, so our flex style emblems, we offer on stalls.com and you can um, access it through the uh, custom artwork uploader and it you can get any design, any logo and upload it into there and it comes out in these 3D emblems that you can create these super premium high quality products with and you can get they come in full color also in matte and metallic finishes so you can get um complete matte options like this guy if you can see it and then metallic so a lot of detail a lot of colors there's no limit and then you can get it in a couple different color options and then it also comes in a clear as well. And these are just a really good way for um, to promote different companies and brands and sport teams and to create something that's going to last and make a big impact when they see it and really recognize um, your product and your brand through them. Um, so again, they have full color. There's a couple different finishes such as this is called flat. So as you can see, it has flat. And then with our flat, you can also get textured in it. This is full texture. Sorry, this is hard to see with this light. But this is one of them. We'll demo so you can get a better look at it later. And then we have beveled. It's another example of beveled. And then this is texture. Or then this is flat, but a matte version. And there's also a deco or um, a domed version that is just all puffs. So it's more of like, think of like um, just 
kind of just like a 3D, almost like a puff kind of look. So there's no texture in it. It's just raised. So all of them create the super cool dimensional look and feel for a premium product. Um, our flex style emblems, our flex style emblems also come in heat applied versions so you can um, apply and decorate apparel items. And the adhesive on the backing of the pressure sensitive version of it is a super heavy duty adhesive backing that does give you a permanent adhesion and they can be washed in the dishwasher on the top shelf. So I guess we can just go ahead and apply one, right? Absolutely. And I will say too, um, just from kind of working with these at trade shows, um, that whenever you are putting them on the drinkware, kind of the same rules apply as, you know, our sign vinyl, um, our full color decal vinyl. Um, you want to make sure that it is a nice, like smooth surface, because again, we're working with an adhesive and we want to make sure that it has a nice flat surface to adhere to. Um, and then in addition to that, you want to make sure that these, um, styles are getting um, a, a decent amount of time to cure, right? If I stick it right on there, I'm going to be able to pick it off immediately because it hasn't, the adhesive hasn't had time to harden and really cure um, to the hard good. So just keep that in mind. Um, some customers that are currently working with this product now, they'll allot like a six hour window before actually giving the finished product to their customer. Yes, thank you. Um, and so before you apply anything onto your um, hard good, it's important that it's clean. So um, it's recommended to wash your um, blank item with um, soap and water or rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no like dust or debris or anything on it that would cause um, an interruption in the adhesive. And it same goes with your basic sign vinyl and your full color decals. So I have my clean cup. It's the, oh, I think it's the same one that Jenna did with um, the regular sign vinyl. This has a little sparkle in it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. And, just, and again, this is a Mars cup from saveacup.com. So on this one, I'm going to apply the textured flex style. And as you can see that there's spacing in these letters. So this is call it like you can say a clear backing. That way you don't have um, a big cloud of just like a solid color behind it. So it, you are able to get little loose solo letters. Can you even see my cup? Yep, we can see you. Okay. So I have my cup, I'm gonna do this upside down so you can see it. So just like a sticker, just like your other decals, you just have put your um, item on a flat surface and take your logo. And I usually go from the middle and out just to get a nice even um, out. So you just press down and then I like to just take my fingers and give it some nice pressure. And with the loose letter, or the clear backing like this, it's you have to just be careful with the amount of pressure you do because it, it's a little bit more um, unstable when you're applying it to make sure you're going even and slowly. So you don't nix a corner and shove it off the carrier. So slow, even. And then you can just, oh, I didn't do enough pressure right there. So the looser letters are a little bit more um, tedious to heat apply just because again, you have a lot more objects.
Sarah, do you recommend um, like squeegees or any other accessories? Have you noticed that if that will help apply um, some of those smaller items, like get into the small crevices and... So I get nervous with the squeegee with especially the Dimensional product because um, with the harsh edge of a squeegee, it could kind of like nix a corner and pick it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Normally this applies a lot better, but just give it some more pressure. Maybe I'm just trying That's to- That's a really it. good tip. Are you just using like a t-shirt there to kind of- Yeah, or if you had a long okay. sleeve, you can use a sleeve just to mm -hmm. kind of um, give it like a nice soft edge that you're gonna press on. Cause again, yeah. hit a corner or an edge and lift it up and affect and um, risk kind of bending that part and ruining the adhesive there. All right, so that was a little bit better. So something like this reminds me a lot of, you know, just applying like a, a sign vinyl, you know, whenever yeah, you, it pieces, very, very, you yeah. have to go back and stick them down. So it's gonna be very similar to that then. Yes. But at least this has like a nice clear uh, mask. You see exactly what you're doing. Right. Hey, Jenna, why she's working on that. Do the cups yeah. need to be cleaned prior to applying any type of logo? Yes. Yeah. So you'll want to make sure that before you apply the logo, that's whenever you're cleaning, because you want to make sure that surface that the adhesive is going on to is completely free of like any uh, coating or dust or anything that could keep that adhesive from curing correctly. Yes. Oh, so that turned out awesome. Yes, you can see the texture really well in that. And I will say, um, if I have a flex style design that I've had just kind of hanging out for a while, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little harder to stick. <laughs> yeah. I've had it hang out or hanging around for a little while now. So, yeah, I saw that one, I think last year. So I know that that's two year, I think two years ago. Or oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that kind of brings up, you know, what is the longevity of these transfers, um, if they're just being stored, what's the best way to store them? Would you say like a typical transfer, keeping them in a box away from yeah. a window? Yeah. Cause the mine have just been in the desk of my drawer <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for my desk. And mm -hmm. I, just, you know, some of them just don't work anymore because the adhesive got ruined. The backing came off something like that. All right. I'm going to show you an easy one now. So this is one of those uh, can coolers. And I'm going to do the beveled on it. So it's one solid piece. And it, I, I don't know if you can see this that well, but in these logos, you can get gradients and different fills in it. So your logo can be completely full color. So if you have shadows or um, different gradients and fades, you're, they're able to print that for you as well. And when you upload it, um, you just upload it like a regular logo and choose flex style option and um, choose the type of product you want, whether it's beveled or texture, and they will um, pick the textures for you that go into the little areas because they're, they know exactly what they're doing um, when we're making them. So it's super simple. It turns out good every time. So I'm gonna center my little lion and then press again, center and then out. And as you, I don't know if you can see this, but it's already coming off of the carrier. It's stuck to the um, item already. So just an easy peel away. So the solid um, logos are usually easier, but um, I think my logo is just a little old and I was rushing it. So there you can get so many different options with this stuff. And it's really a premium product. It's very unique, super eye-catching. And it's something that will really make an impact for you and your customers. Absolutely. All right. So Kelly, before we hop back into the presentation, 
Um, were there any other questions that came through? There are a couple. Great. So the first one piggybacking on, should we clean the cups prior? Um, you said, yes. Is there a particular product that should be used to clean or wipe down the mug prior to using the decals? Rubbing alcohol or soap and water. Perfect. Um, how long will flex styles stay on a cup? One, two years. Do you know? To my knowledge, that that guy, that, that little thing isn't coming off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, I mean, if you are like nicking at it and you are getting angry at it, you could eventually probably get it off. But the adhesive on the back of that is 3M adhesive. So the same adhesive that like um, you can stick to walls for like hooks for like hanging things. So it's a pretty durable adhesive. It would take a lot to get it off. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it will probably outlast your enamel on your mug if it's a coated something, because remember a lot of these things don't, um, aren't recommended to be dishwasher safe, but our decals are, which essentially are, the decals are tougher than what you're applying it onto. So you shouldn't have an issue. Like Jenna said, if there's a will, there's a way, if they're really, really making an effort to get it off with like a needle or a weeder, there's a will, there's a way, but it won't just fall off. Perfect. Okay. Last question as of now is if somebody is wanting to do their own printable designs, what equipment is needed? Great. So that's a great question. We're actually going to be touching on eco solvent, uh, printing tomorrow. Um, in uh, one of those series, Bob Robinson will be joining us to touch. Oh, wait, is that tonight, Kelly, or tomorrow? Tomorrow. That, I believe that's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, I'm, I'm going to double check, but I believe it's tomorrow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he'll be touching on um, how you can actually create your own digital transfers. Um, so this is technically considered a digital transfer and you can print these on an eco solvent or solvent printer. Um, that is what is compatible for these durable, long lasting um, printable medias. Um, but yes, he will review those printers with you guys tomorrow. So be sure to check out that session with Bob Robinson. Um, so you guys can kind of see that firsthand, uh, but you can also do some quick research tonight um, by just looking for eco solvent printers. <clears throat> I know Roland does a really great eco solvent printer as well as Mamaki. Um, Sarah, do you know of any others that I may be Epson? Do they do eco solvent printing? Ah, uh, I don't, I can't even remember the list. Yeah, but there's a lot of different options out there. We sell, we resell Roland printers. We stand behind that brand. Um, they, they're, they're really great machines. Um, so yeah, definitely check out that session tomorrow to learn more about that. Film. <clears throat> All right. So, um, We'll revisit questions. We're going to allot the last 10 minutes of this session to answer any remaining questions. But before we do that, let's go ahead and um, pop back into the PowerPoint. And we're just going to discuss, you know, um, what opportunities you guys have with drinkware and some best practice practices for um, selling and um, price. <clears throat> so to sell, these make really great add-on items. Um, we talk a lot about packaging um, different apparel pieces together, whether that be a pair of hoodie and sweatpants, um, a t-shirt and a jacket, whatever it may be. But that drinkware uh, item is just that added piece um, that can really kind of close the, the kitting or the packaging that you're doing uh, just to kind of take it out of the apparel box and offer something a little different. Uh, that maybe your customer isn't used to um, getting as a custom made product. So really great add on items, something additional to throw into your customer to maybe increase the bottom line of the overall sell. Um, and then um, 
you know, just constant advertisement, as we touched on a little bit earlier, uh, the amount of impressions that drinkware has, reusable drinkware has, is incredible. So definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, and it's, you can always um, use two or more products. So you, let's say you're doing a full color logo and you're doing, um, you're doing apparel for a sport team or an event and you're making other stuff and you have a drinkware and you put their full color logo on the item, you can take the regular sign vinyl and cut different numbers or their name to add on to that as an even um, more, uh, uh, an even bigger sell, um, sale just to have one more thing to say, hey, I can also do this too. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, and then obviously there are a lot of different price points that you can set uh, based off of the different um, products that we showed today. So uh, we talked a lot about good, better, best uh, market practicing. Um, so make sure that you are taking these different finishes into consideration whenever you are presenting these different types uh, to your customers. So obviously your good option is going to be sign vinyl. Um, obviously just being able to add personalization to the drinkware in a simple and price conscious way for your customer, sign vinyl is a good option. Your next option is going to be the um, full color um, printable media. Um, and that allows you to just kind of take it to the next level, uh, but still keeping it um, easy in production on you uh, by just being able to order that transfer and stick it on there. So it uh, only takes a few seconds to create as long as you have the design, uh, then you can just stick it right on there. Uh, and then obviously your best option is going to be those dimensional flex style products that Sarah um, sh shared with us. And one additional one, because she did um, share, show you guys the L, this is one of the ones um, and how that looks actually on the hard goods. So you can get as many amount of colors as you want in these logos. And I think that this is so accurately represents that. Um, and she even showed you a metallic option of this and the amount of detail and texture that you can get in these products is really just next level. So obviously these are going to be your best option and to be able to warrant your um, highest uh, price point and profit opportunity. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, where you can source some of these products. So um, a lot of wholesalers, these are some of the ones that we recommend. So Leeds is a good one. Uh, Save a Cup, which is where we source the Mars tumbler that was shown today and also the can cooler. Um, those were a recent discovery and we've just been in love with them ever since. And if you guys do sublimation printing and have a mug press, they make an entire set um, of products that are sublimatable. Um, Sit Cups is another great option. Amazon, of course, you can buy cases of tumblers on there for very low prices. And then Fair, um, they just, they're, they house hundreds um, of different wholesale companies. So uh, similarly to Save a Cup and how they are um, offering different brands, uh, Fair does a lot of different brands as well when it comes to hard goods. So take all of these into consideration. If you guys need a copy of this presentation, um, it is available for download right on the screen um, in the PDF format so that you guys have all of these resources available to you. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and open it up to uh, questions that you guys have on any of the products. So feel free to start commenting those in now if you've been holding them back, uh, but we'll take any that you have now, Kelly. Um, Jenna, on we've got several people asking about price. So price with a decal sticker um, versus maybe flex style and any other option between the single color sign vinyl. Okay, so... Um, I, d I don't have those prices offhand, um, so I'm making a mental note of all of this that I should have included pricing in, 
in these um, because I keep getting this question recurring. Um, so um, in our, it's online, we have price guides that break down all of your pricing for you. And I believe Mark mentioned, Mark Schwab mentioned that the pricing of our dimensional logos is also in the resources section. Um, it's a tab in the top right-hand corner. It's a download and it'll show you a price breakdown of um, what your, your transfer is going to be based off of quantity and the different um, type of flex style that you want. Uh, and then in addition to that, so quantity, dimension, and style um, is what your price is based off of. And then your um, pricing for your vinyl um, is going to be the same exact thing. Uh, it's going to be the same price because we're working with one product, but it's going to be based on um, dimension and quantity. Uh, so those, all of those price breakdowns we have for you, but I do not know them off the top of my head. <laughs> I know, sorry, I'm not help either with the pricing. Um, I am just scrolling to make sure I didn't miss anything. I've been trying to keep up for you guys. Let's see. Um, can transfers be ordered through Transfer Express? I just saw that they only had uh, an all purpose, but I wasn't sure if that was the laminated or not. Do you know by chance? I'm not sure I understand the question. Yeah, can you? The, the signed vinyl transfers? Um, yeah, so the printable signed vinyl, since they have a, you know, like CAD prints option, do they have a? I do believe, option? yes, yes, I believe so. Okay. Sarah? I, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's in the marketing kit. <laughs> but you cannot order flex style through Transfer Express. Yeah, not flex style, but the full color decal. Yes. And then you have to get the rolls of signed vinyl at stalls. So Transfer Express does not sell the rolls of just your um, the regular signed vinyl decals. Um, okay, guys, that might be it. Let's see. Um, a lot of people just really appreciating appreciating the info very excited for this class um, they're beautiful can't wait to apply these to my business but as of now there are no other questions um, all right awesome all right so we are going to um head out early then if no one else has any questions um, our next session is going to start at 7 30 it is the kickoff of our getting started series where we are going to be talking about getting started with a heat press and all you guys need to know about that, right? So we will see you guys then. If you guys have any other remaining questions, feel free to comment those in and we will definitely revisit the chat to make sure that you guys get those answered. Um, one more other thing, uh, if you guys have not um, scheduled any one-on-one -on -one with any of the presenters and experts, be sure to do that. Um, Friday is open for that exact reason. If you guys want to talk one-on-one -on -one, um, with any of us, feel free to do that. You guys can schedule that uh, right in the top hand corner. But thank you guys so much for joining and we'll see you guys shortly. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>